Hello everyone. Uh, that's a great pleasure for us to see all of you here today. Uh, I am Mykola Kozlenko. Uh, my colleague Valery Tkachuk and I, we represent the Vasil Stefanik Prikarpesa National University uh, from uh, Ivano-Frankivsk city, Ukraine. Uh, today uh, we would like uh, to report the results of our research on improved uh, quantum genetic algorithm based on multi-level quantum systems for the 0-1 NAPSEC uh, problem. This work is a continuation of uh, the series of author works uh, in which we study the use of multi-level quantum logic in quantum genetic uh, algorithms. Uh, the NEPSEC problem is a typical constraint combinatorial optimization problem. Uh, a majority of engineering and um, scientific uh, real-world problems can be reduced to this uh, NP-complete problem. Uh, it can be reduced to search a finite uh, set of n items uh, in of such a binary uh, vector that maximizes the objective function uh, that is uh, subject to constraints. Uh, in these formulas, uh, P i's is a um, value of i's item, omega i is the weight of the i's item, uh, x i is the uh, value that can take value, uh, values only 0 and 1, and uh, 1 means that i's item is included into the NAP deck. Um, and c is the maximum weight uh, capacity. The exact solution uh, of such kind of uh, problems uh, requires a lot of uh, computational power even for a relatively small size of uh, the input data set. The quantum genetic algorithms are well known and widely used methods for such kind of uh, uh, of real world optimization problems. Um, and uh, these algorithms uh, they produce the approximate uh, solution uh, so uh, they can be uh, used for computation uh, computational uh, effective um, solution of the problem uh, as, ha uh, as has been shown in our previous research uh, switching from binary logic to multi-level uh, quantum logic significantly increases the accuracy of the algorithm as well as reduces the computational complexity. Uh, quantum systems with uh, several more than two basic states uh, called QDITs uh, can be used for uh, quantum chromosome representation. Uh, QDIT is a quantum a quantum system which may be in any of n basic states uh, from 0, 1 uh, and so forth uh, up to the n minus 1 uh, or it can be in any superposition of uh, those. Of course with a normalization uh, constraint uh, which is shown in these uh, formulas. So, the main idea of uh, our improvement of uh, quantum genetic uh, algorithm, algorithms is that we propose to use uh, the multi-level uh, quantum logic instead of the uh, traditional binary, uh, binary uh, logic. And the overall uh, structure of the uh, proposed quantum genetic algorithm um, is shown in this, uh, in this picture. And in the next picture, uh, we show the transition uh, procedure from the QDIT to its uh, binary uh, representation. 
The use of QDIT representation uh, requires new algorithms of mm, basic quantum uh, operators. The application of a suggested quantum gate operator uh, to a single QDIT can be split into two uh, stages. On the first stage, the probability amplitude of the quantum state is increased. Uh, you can see the seventh step in this uh, algorithm in uh, in the in this slide. Uh, the state is determined by the binary representation of the best population individual got on the previous evolution uh, stage. Um, the operator par parameter mu determines the maximum allowed size of the rotation angle and is selected based on additional research and it lies in the range from 0 to 1. On the second stage uh, we need to decrease the probability amplitudes of other QDIT states to satisfy the normalization constraint. As a result each next generation has a higher probability to generate individuals which are the closest to the best individual. Uh, the algorithm can be illustrated but, uh, by the scheme uh, you see now in your screens. If uh, in the result of the quantum measurement of the state retrieved values of omega uh, like 0, 1 and, um, and so forth, uh, only the probability amplitude increases in accordance to the uh, algorithm. The average um, average average fitness value uh, fitness uh, function values of the best uh, population individual as a function of the parameter mu uh, is shown in this um, graph for different numbers of quantum system states. Um, the repair procedure. Uh, proposed in this uh, quantum genetic algorithm is different, uh, is quite different from the procedure used in classical genetic algorithms because it, in, it includes a correction for the probability amplitudes of the quantum chromosome uh, states. On the first traditional stage, uh, if the knapsack is too heavy, the items are randomly removed until the constraint is satisfied. Besides, if the knapsack is too light, um, it attempts to add random items uh, to the knapsack um, while the weight uh, restriction allows it. And on the second stage we need to adjust the probability amplitudes of the quantum uh, chromosome according to the new um, repeat classical binary uh, chromosome. This process can be implemented as a quantum gate operator with the size and direction of the rotation angle determined by the value of the repeat uh, classical chromosome. Uh, such algorithms keeps the genetic information got by the individuals during the evolutionary process. Okay, in this picture we would like to um, to show the uh, parameter beta. This is uh, the repair repair parameter of the um, algorithm and uh, its influence on the algorithm efficiency. Um, such behavior is typical uh, and the optimal value uh, does not depend on the input data uh, correlation level and the number of uh, quantum system states. Um, in this picture uh, we would like to present you uh, our 
uh, results as the um, as an average uh, algorithm runtime as a function of uh, of of the number of quantum uh, states uh, and uh, this table um, represents the statistical results of uh, com of our computational experiments uh, the mean value of the best individual uh, standard deviation the best and the worst absolute results uh, average time uh, and the percentage of exact solution uh, are presented here and the first row in this table is QGA with uh, the star uh, with the asterisk and uh, is um, this is a regular quantum uh, quantum algorithm with, with qubit uh, binary representation of an uh, individual uh, so the conclusions uh, are as follows um, the results of uh, statistical modeling of the 0-1 NEBSEC problem for different dimensionalities and different correlation levels of the input data show that this representation um, I mean multi-level quantum representation uh, of the chromosome can uh, significantly reduce uh, the operation time of the quantum genetic algorithms uh, according to our results almost twice while increasing the efficiency of the uh, search. Uh, basically that's it from our, our side for today and uh, many thanks for listening. Um, of course we would be grateful for your uh, feedback and uh, we would only be too happy to answer all your questions. Uh, please do not hesitate to contact us uh, via email or social uh, media. Uh, many thanks.